The T8 and T8 AIVI's auto-empty docking station is extremely effective on most types of debris, but as other reviewers have noted, it's not very good with pet hair. Now, for some people, it's enough to vacuum every day, but this is what my bin looks like after about a week of daily vacuuming. Emptying the bin doesn't actually do anything, as this bin has been emptied several times since this has built up like this. So as you can see here, the hair is still in place. I hope you can see through the dirty plastic, but it's not going anywhere, and I'll take it out to show you once it's done. Okay, so, as you can see, nothing happened. Nothing at all. Exactly the hair that was there before is there now. So, why does this happen? When pet hair is swirled together inside of a vacuum cleaner, it forms a cohesive clump, meaning it all sticks together. As you can see with this clump of pet hair, if I try to pull it apart, there's some resistance to it. So, as you know, the TH dustbin pulls the dirt out from two different ports. So in this photo, what you're seeing is one solid hair clump, which is what happens inside the bin, and it's being pulled from two directions. So in order for that to succeed, the suction power has to be sufficient to rip the clump in half, and it isn't, depending on the type of hair you have. So when it pulls from two directions, it can't get it out. One direction, it can. Both directions, it can't. It's fighting itself. One direction, it can. So what can you do about this? Well, you could shave your dogs. That'll certainly work, and... It's kind of cute. You could also get one of these guys if you have cats. Oh, look at the kitty. But there is a less drastic solution. Essentially, what you want to do is cover one of the ports, and you have to do that from the inside. So I've cleaned the uh, left side of this bin just to get the dust out from the areas that the tape needs to stick to. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want to be able to get it out later just in case you change your mind because this makes it slightly less efficient with um, other types of debris, which I'll show you in a bit. But it works perfectly fine with one port. In fact, the, the ports are about the same size as the port on the Nibot, and that does very well with emptying itself. So there we go, tape in place. And you have to do it on the inside because these flaps move. Although you could do it from the other side of the flaps, I guess. So, hair back in the bin. Now I'm gonna have it empty itself and you could see that the hair is just going to fly right out. There it goes. Let's see that again in slow motion. No problem. That's the same hair clump that was stuck in there before. Just right out. And I've ran this for a few weeks um, and with one of the ports covered up and it works great. So I'm going to show you. And that's what happens when you try to do it one-handed. All the hair is gone. Let's put the handle back on bin back in the robot and it's ready to go. So one thing you should know is that if you do this, it's not going to fully empty itself of other types of debris. For example, this is what my bin looks like pretty much every day. This is what it always leaves there, but never more than this. So if you think about it, it doesn't actually need to fully empty itself. It just needs to make room for more dirt. So this works fine. Um, I hope this helps you. If you have problems with pet hair, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'm Mike and this is Mr. Rumbato.